Your work confessions. Degenerosity. Hello. It's D. That was my worst intro ever. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your favorite gambling man. Back with another confessions video. You and I know the gist by now. You guys send me your confessions and I read them while crying on the inside. This time the topic was work confessions, bad things or unusual stuff that happened at your workplace. And I know half of you guys are unemployed, but don't get me wrong, you guys still send me the good stuff. Some of your confessions were a little bit mild, while at the same time, some of your confessions were a little bit wild. And at the end of the day, I come to the same conclusion is that I hope all your bosses watch this video. Let's just get into it. First, I don't got no damn job. <laughs> I work in a school as a student. One of my classmates made two holes in the walls of my classroom. You work in school as a student? When did that become a job? I've been a student for basically all my life and I never got paid squat. I did more than- Where, th There was always those uh, like student helpers though, right? They were like students, but sometimes they would come in class like your class from another class and help your class, right? Do, do they still have those, right? I don't know if they get, I don't think they get paid, but. Oh, good years working and I never saw a cent. I never saw a cent. I need my reparations. My brother's boss at Little Caesars was giving people raises if they did the nasty, even the men. Second story, a Karen at a local McDonald's was mad her nuggets weren't out in time. It was a one minute wait and she threw a fit. She was also very obese. So she hurled her fat <laughs> over the counter and tried fighting the cashier. She didn't land one punch and she got punched once and was knocked out cold. Lastly, a customer at Arby's was mad over curly fries Yo, and pulled out a gun Arby's? and started firing. Honestly, I'm still stuck at the first confession cause did your brother like take the raise? Like I I'm not judging, I'm not judging. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta do what you gotta do in this life. But did you take the raise like how big was the raise you know if it was like an extra ten dollars an hour with a free side of crazy bread and wings <laughs> that, 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 that's kind of tempting hey you gotta do what you gotta do but like everybody else doing it i might as well join in and for the curly fries one i, I kind of understand it when nah, you order boy. food and you expect a certain kind of standard to it and it comes back mid i'm gonna start going crazy on the spot and start rapping to the cashier saying let's play a little game i made all you gotta do is pick a candy ball one gotta play some people be serious about that curly fries and the fat girl yeah whatever more of the story except all opportunity uh, if, you, if you walk in into arby's and don't expect that bitch to get shot up something wrong with you my nigga if you walk in into arby's and don't expect that bitch to get shot up it's easy you're the problem what? like you don't think one person will shoot up that arby's my nigga one person they serving raw chicken some niggas gonna shoot the shit up. Who needs to get in a raise? Like, I work on, as bro. a teller at my state's credit union. I once had a woman who was cleaning money from her account. She had a bunch of Zell deposits from her dad, but turns out her dad has been dead for six months and she was pretending to be him, withdrawing from ATMs and transferring money from his account to hers without it. permission. I missed it, I missed it, I missed it, I'm sorry. Tell her at my state's credit union. Okay. I once had a woman who was cleaning money from her account. She had a bunch of Zell deposits from her dad, but turns out her dad has been dead for six months and she was pretending to be him, withdrawing oh. from ATMs and transferring money from his account to hers without permission. Needless oh. to say, she didn't get the money. I'm having trouble understanding this confession. I mean, I might be stupid, but like, I'm still having trouble with it because I don't see anything she did wrong. I mean, I bet this is marked as a crime under some random law somehow, but I still don't see what she did wrong. Her dad's dead. What does he need the money for? Who is she gonna ask for permission? His coffin? She gotta ask the bank for permission to her dad's money? Like why? Why, why does the bank need the money for? Like, come on, man. You holding her up from showing off her motion. And for what? Her dead dad that's not gonna use the money? I don't see any problem with what she did. I mean, I bet if I did some research, I probably would, but I'm not. I'm gonna be on her side, blind. I don't care. Go get your dead dad's money, girl. I used to work at KFC, and for some reason, my coworkers started putting like 10 squirts of mayo on every sandwich that was ordered. And this person provided some evidence alongside with it too. If I ever open up my fast food bag and I see a mayonnaise sandwich has been replaced for my burger, I'm chucking that sandwich back at that worker, oh, not gonna lie. And I'm pissing you. <laughs> And I'm pissing off. <laughs> You right, I won't. I worked as a waiter in this smaller little restaurant. After someone left, I picked up the dishes like a normal person would. There was this guy who worked in the back who would clean the dishes really fast so everyone kind of relied on him. Until one day we call him not washing the dishes, but licking them till they're clean. Anyways, not long after the place shut down to no surprise. Bro. Do people have any type of, like, 
Where is your self-respect? Where is like where is the love for yourself, bro? You just like this is how shit like COVID be spreading, bro. You just in the back licking the plates, licking the plates. Someone could have been sick, had herpes, like anything. And you just, yo, oh yeah, bro. Like they left some of this, this nice sauce. Like what? 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 Bro was just cleaning the leftovers off, making sure the place was spick and span. No! Bro was just doing his job. And the fact that y'all- I actually are... hate people lick plates, period, bro. I hate when people lick plates, bro. Oh my God. My wife be doing that shit. I be wanting to kick her down the stairs half the time, bro. I hate when people do that shit. Ah! Lied on him meant he was a diligent worker. He did nothing wrong. I mean, I wouldn't eat there or let my family eat there or let my friends eat there or let my dogs eat there, but hey. To each their own. Basically, I used to work in this Mexican restaurant. Reason I applied there, I always kept getting rejected by other places. McDonald's, Taco Bell, and other last resort jobs. Dang, nobody want you. But I was able to get a job at this restaurant for $3 an hour as a servant. Bro, you you don't got a job. You're a slave. Hey, that is not a job. You are a servant. This is the type of job I'd take if I had debt to owe to the boss. At first, I came in for the training which the restaurant didn't really teach much, so I had to teach myself. But customers were weird AF. I had to serve a group of friends that were senior citizens, and they were showing pictures of their private parts to each other in public. And I saw that while I was taking their order. More of the story, work somewhere non-food related, such as AutoZone, where I'm happy. Old people be weird. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of places that like service, like server restaurants, especially like the mom and pops, bro, Especially in the South, bro, those are be like four dollars, like four dollars an hour. I don't know if they could still do that, but like, yeah, it it, it used to get as low as like four dollars an hour because you're like you're depending on tips to make your money essentially, right? But if a day or when the day comes when no one comes in, like on a Monday at I don't know eleven a.m. and you work the eleven to seven shift, guess what, nigga? Guess what? Your tips not giving you shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving you shit, bro. I'm stuffed. You gonna get a shout out? Shout out, drummer ninja. Sometimes they're either the most intelligent, loving people you've ever met in your life, or second to babies. All the old people I person. Like he just has beef with the south. Okay, <laughs> okay, bro. Like I lived down there for a little bit, and I have to say the south is the worst part of America. <laughs> it's dead the worst part of America, my nigga. I'm sorry. I like low key. You're not. Even, I'm not even gonna say you're wrong. I'm not even gonna say you're wrong, bro. Loving people. Where I'm happy. Old people be weird sometimes. They're either the most intelligent, loving people you've ever met in your life, or second to babies. All the old people I personally know are loving and intelligent, though. You know, I love your grandma. But then there's sometimes those old people that be coming up to me talking in gibberish, like, and I just gotta laugh it off, like, ah! I don't even know what they said. Yeah, old people be weird sometimes, but I'm glad that you freed yourself from the shackles of slavery and now work at AutoZone. I'm proud oh of you, God. bro. I'm happy that you're happy. I worked at a clinic so around well. 18 years old, got paid in gift cards, co-worker got <laughs> shot, and I see a patient myself once. Imagine having some kid come in asking you about your jaundice. The hell is a jaundice? Jaundice, a medical condition with yellowing of the skin yeah, or man, whites of the eyes, dollar, bro. arising from excess of the pigment bilirubin and typically caused by obstruction of the bile duct. The hell is bilirubin? Bilirubin, an orange yellow pigment formed in the liver by the breakdown of hemoglobin and excreted in bile. What the hell is a hemoglobin? hemoglobin. This is me. This is that's me. This is <laughs> this is me. <laughs> that has me. A red protein responsible for transporting oxygen in the blood of viltrumites. <laughs> oh, okay. Working for any kind of politician gotta be one of the worst jobs, not gonna lie. I once got an internship for this dude I didn't know much about. And every day there'd be crazy people coming into his office screaming, holding signs with actual blood on them, making death threats, and just being altogether vile. I don't know if it's because the guy was Republican or something, but it traumatized me and made me never want to work in the private sector again. Honestly, you didn't even have to tell me to know this. There's no such thing as an honest politician, bro. I can almost guarantee that the higher on the ladder the politician is, the more likely the employees will be treated like garbage. I just don't like the politics space in general because the more you look into it, the more you're like, damn, man, everybody a piece of, huh? I would never want to work in that space. 
Unless I'm gonna be president. I better be the president. First law, I'm the only dude on Tinder. All the girls <laughs> have to swipe right on me. Why the hell I still have no matches? One of my co-workers' boyfriends. I heard about Tinder opening up the $500, I think, I don't know if it's a month or a year. Um, is it $500 a month? The 1% of dating app launches a $500 per month option for elite users. Yeah, man. People are out there looking for love for real, man. People are out there looking for love. Like, that's like, I'm not going to lie. I don't think people are looking are, are out there looking for love for $500 a month. If you're looking for $500 a month, you're into that. I think you're just into that freaky shit. Like, it's like, if you find somebody both paying $5 a month, you're like, yo, <laughs> The odds are we both like shit on our chest. Like we both like the brown rollout. We both like the golden showers. We just looking, we looking for the free. We both li like, I'm into being submissive, you know? And that's what I'm here for. I think it's for that type of shit for genuinely. I genuinely think it's for that, bro. I really do. Like, I don't understand why the fuck you need to pay $500 for that shit. But okay. That's the only reason, actually. Like, it's gotta be for some high class, nasty, freaky, Brown rollout, grapefruit, ball sucking sex. Other than that, nigga, I'm not paying the five hundred dollars a month. You can suck my asshole. Like you can literally just suck it, like for free too. Like for free, you don't have to pay for that. I started working right on me. Why the hell I still have no matches? One of my coworkers' boyfriends started working with us recently. He got yelled at by a stupid <laughs> bitch manager. Oh my <laughs> god, I hate that stupid bitch. <laughs> Anyways, the dude got yelled at by the manager and it got to the point where he freaking snapped at that. He started insulting her, raising his voice to the point he turned red. <laughs> this is why I never watch lives. <laughs> Girlfriend tried to step in, pushing him to the side. He pushed her off and yelled, don't freaking touch me. Another coworker pulled up to stop him and that's where he went berserk. He was pushing him while yelling, I'm gonna kill you, you f Oh shit, I'm on the second account, guys. Sorry. Sorry! The people in the restaurant had enough and tried to fight him because the majority of the staff and customers were Hispanic and Latino. He panicked and went outside, locking the customers inside. He later got chased by two old Mexican folk with freaking machetes. Oh Can you believe that? Machetes! Unfortunately, he got away and is about to get fired. Why isn't he already fired, bro? That story is crazy. And by the sounds of it, you hate your manager too. Is your manager Chris Rock or Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen? I don't know, man. Crazy story. I don't even know what to say, just crazy. When I was younger, I worked at McDonald's. It was painful and tiring, and I ended up getting myself fired. One day at 1 p.m., I was making french fries till this guy named Michael showed up. He calls employees to freaking quit or get fired. He messed up the employee's work like putting food poisoning in it. What? Today's was the most evil what? ever. He got up on the counter, put his pants down, including underwear, and then he started peeing while the french fries were boiling. He told the manager that I peed in the french fries to let you know the cameras were broken and nobody was in the kitchen. Turns out Michael was the son of the manager and he believed Michael always. When I served the food to the customer, the customer said, it, this smelled like piss, which ended up me getting fired. But I would hate working with an employee like this and I would hate having a boss like this. Bosses having kids work for them and then obviously treating them with more respect and bias just cause they're their kids. Like I could never imagine working in a working environment like that. It just sounds too annoying. And the fact that you got fired for him peeing in the fries, bro. Nigga, shoot. we just go. Shoot. I don't know we what just go like overlook that fact that just niggas are peeing in fries like we're just act like this is a normal day like a, a normal day a normal day in california hmm? like people are just here peeing in fries like this we're not going to talk about this what the hell is going on what is going on in your workplace you're suing for you said more sodium <laughs> more, more flavor <laughs> they ran out of salt <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, well done. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> but Sue, 
just do. One time when I was five and was still in China, my work master gave me four more hours of work for messing up the seam on a poop emoji plushie. Trying to relate to my international audience. Share this video with Winnie the Pooh. I worked at a pizza place and when the customers were kind of rude, I would make sure to spit on that hoe. My coworker on the other hand would lay his balls on some pizza. Oh Good time. All right, I got a lot That's of confessions not. of some of you guys working in fast food and doing disgusting things to nah, the person's order before break. That's what work. I'm saying. Like when people are mean to fast food people, I'm like, you're so dumb. <laughs> like that's about the dumb. Like if you're gonna be a Karen to a fast food worker, bro, you gotta be an idiot. You ain't no way. Ain't no like. There's no other way to put it, bro. You're slow. You're missing at least six chromosomes, nigga. Not one, six. Cause, cause these niggas are about to serve you your food, dumb ass. They can do anything to it. Like, are you not like what? If they wanted to kill you, they could. They could put bleach in. Like, are you not using your brain here? That's not the time to be me. You better be the nicest nigga known to man. <laughs> you better be the nicest, like the nicest person ever. Like, there is no reason for you to sit there and be like, <laughs> and be acting mad disrespectful. Cause like, if they really wanted to. If they really wanted to, they could. I don't like. I never. I never understood that. I never. I never understood. Probably the dumbest people to be mean to. Ever. And doing disgusting Ever. things to the person's order before break. The worst teacher came in the drive-through, so we put fart spray on his burger. I spat in this guy's burger for being an a-hole, and it turns out the burger was for his kid, and the kid ate it. My. Talking about. <laughs> Like I'm pissed. <laughs> like I'll be tight. Like My friend has a habit of sneaking rat poison in his customers' meals. His ass hasn't been caught yet. Why are you laughing, Degenerosity? Rat poison? Like, bro, like, like me. Nigga, what? Isn't that illegal? You trying to kill your customers? What kind of habit is that? That guy is not normal. He's a serial killer in the making. I work at Wendy's. I peed in somebody drink. They thought it was pineapple Sprite. All right, that one gotta be fake, but that's not the point. You guys are making me a little scared to go to these fast food chains because after reading these confessions, I think half my food gonna be spat in or have rat poison in it. Oh Y'all legit bro. crazy. But based on what I read, most of the time, it's just for customers that are kind of rude to them. And honestly, Looking through their lens and perspective, I, I could understand it. I'm not saying it's right or justified or anything, but bro, I can I understand it too, bro. Food, and you were rude to me when you're ordering your food. I, I would might think add about a it. Extra sauce to your food. <laughs> like sometimes customers be tweaking at the employees at these fast food places just because they got their order slightly wrong or the customer got an attitude at the start. Like I bet 95% of the time it's just gonna be normal customers saying normal orders, and then there'll be those one customers that be like, "You forgot the pickles, head ass," making a scene, yelling at you like you're not about to make their food in the back of the kitchen where they can't even see you you try to start a fight with me i'm gonna put a shrek twinkie in your bag and say that's your burger like i would act exactly like this person i'm about to read right here worked at bojangles when i was 15 and a customer called one of my co-workers a rat because his chicken was taking too long so my dude fried a dead rat he kept in the freezer for a moment like this no one but me and him knows this see these people be waiting for moments like this, and I'd be one of them. If I'm working at Mickey D's and a customer start cussing at me, I prayed for times like this. I'm gonna put monkey bones <laughs> in your burger. Honestly, I. <laughs> nigga said, I prayed for times like this, nigga. F facts, nigga. F facts. I've been waiting on you, nigga. I have some fucking testicles sitting in the fridge, bro. I. <laughs> I have some, I have some testicles sitting in the fridge just for your ass, nigga. Just for your ass. All right, bro. All right, bro. I'd probably be one of those petty workers, man. Mm -hmm. Like, if I worked at Starbucks and someone asked for extra whipped cream on their iced coconut latte, I'm going to be like, extra whipped cream? Nah, I got to dip my feet in your drink, bro. You're doing too much. <laughs> if you had the opportunity to eat Bob's Burgers versus my bum's burgers, I reckon you take Bob's. My bum don't taste good. I would know. I've tried it. I worked at Starbucks in 2017, and I would put some pills in customers drinks around the holidays Nigga, no what? Cap. i went to jail for two years and six months probation the pills weren't any bad ones just ones that made you feel good like dopamine Nigga, what? i got some psychopaths in my audience oh, so back God. then i used to work at a gas station in high school Don't the only reason that. i worked there because it had good pay and my homie was working there too so working on a gas station i've seen a lot of crazy stuff go down i've seen people get shot stabbed etc 
So at that point, nothing really surprised me until one day, me and my homie were just doing our jobs. I was ringing up customers and homie was sweeping until this guy came in, normal looking guy, asked for a pack of rhino pills. Nothing crazy, people get that all the time. Until I hear barking. So I don't think, think much of it until I see a full grown adult man walking on all fours. And I was just, okay, what the heck? If it wasn't for the fact he had on a dog mask on with a belt. And it's not like he had pants on either. He walked in pair cheeks out and a bra on. What the <laughs> actual f is happening right now? So the guy I was ringing up said, who's a good boy? And pet him. So at that point, I left out like I, I was shocked. I don't judge kinks, but I'm gonna judge this one. You weird if you do this in public. You oh traumatized God. my homie right here. He oh was just God, trying to work bro. at the gas Leave that shit in the fucking house. Full Metal Gear Solid that shit's not for outside, you and your partner to do those Leave things. that shit the fuck inside, man. I get it. You're, you're, you're into the kinks. That's that $500 Tinder shit I'm talking about. You're paying $500 on Tinder to find niggas like that. I get it. You're in for that type of shit. But don't bring that shit outside the house, nigga. All right? Do that good girl, good boy shit in the crib and leave it there. Like, what the fuck? activities for everybody to see not everybody want to see that bro leave that behind closed doors for a short period of time i was working at this hardware store and when i applied my brother told me that the owner of the store is racist and i wasn't gonna get hired because i'm muslim and when i applied i did notice that every single worker was white but i ended up getting the job for some reason my brother was pretty surprised turns out my brother was right that owner was racist every time i came into work and he was there he would always pat me down to make sure i didn't have any contraband on me never once did i see him do that to any of the other workers and one day when i had gotten done cleaning the toilet for some reason i was the only one getting that duty i walked past his office and his door was slightly open and i heard bro on the phone with someone and he was talking about how he didn't trust me and he straight up said i was a because i was muslim after that i knew i needed to do something so instead of quitting i hit a brick of inside his office when he wasn't at work and where i live that stuff is mad illegal i then gave an anonymous tip to the police in our town and he got arrested like a week later i love your video Amen. 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 He deserved it. There are three. There are three people that I always wish bad on: <laughs> pedophiles, rapists, and racists. Three of them. I'd watch them get hit by a bus and probably not blink. I wouldn't wish death on you. I don't like to do that. But I'd watch you get hit by a bus and I would not blink. But this is just as good. I'll slide on this. Um, nothing but a W, bro. W, the only fuck other option I could have thought of is suing him. You know, that's my only other I option. I would have recorded him saying all that junk and I would have sued his ass. Or second option, statements that my lawyer told me not to say, so I won't say it. But your idea, pretty good. Nice. Someone said you kidnapped. Nah, bro. New room, bro. What? What you think? What you? What you think, bro? What you think, man? What you, what you, what you, what you, what you think? What you think, bro? What, 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 what you think? Huh? Who's spy? You feel me? Uh. You want some bug spray, my boy? <laughs> you need some bug spray, my nigga? Clean feel, you feel me? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Let me read you a bedtime story. Leo follows his friend into the cosmic forest. It is almost dinner time. Surely he will be back soon. Yeah, bro. A uh, new spot, bro. My downstairs is getting worked on, so I just moved upstairs for the time being. You feel me? You feel me? Did you get kicked up, kicked up the living room? Nah. Living room right here, though. Can you see it? Let me see the My living room. You mean the basement? Because if I get kicked up the basement? I technically got kicked out of the basement, yes. Where the lotion at? Oh my gosh, what are you in 20? What are you in 20? What are you? Not even in 20. You're in 1997, my nigga. My boy. 
You know what this is? <laughs> yeah, this is for real niggas use, bro. We don't use lotion. This is shea butter. This is what has your ball staying silky smooth all day. And it don't stink, even when you ride a bike for hours on end. We put a little coconut flavor in it. You're probably wondering, where did you get that? My wife made it, homemade. My mom taught her how to make it, and now she just makes it at home all the time. I would sell this, I would, but I think you need some kind of license to sell that shit. <laughs> Yeah, let's continue. Let's continue. That LeBron was better than Kevin. Oh, we were watching memes. We already did, bro. You like Kevin Durant? That's because he is. Don't act pretty good. Option. Third option. I would have recorded him saying all that junk, and I would have sued his ass. Or second option. Statements that my lawyer told me not to say, so I won't say it. But your idea, pretty good. Nice. Someone said LeBron was better than Kevin Durant. That's because he is. Don't ever disrespect my little goat like that. My little husband is never gonna be disrespected like that. I've known this girl for more than four years. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I've known her since middle school. I don't know, I just really like her. She already rejected me. That's why I don't talk to her. Because she asked me not to. But I can't get over her. She just my first love. Pleading emoji. <laughs> Fate has it, we now work together. And it's been more than a year since the last time I saw her. And she's, uh, been looking at me. <laughs> I've had a little glow up, so... This isn't really a confession. I just need advice from someone I love, enjoy, and respect. 100 emoji, 100 emoji, fire emoji, 100 emoji, fire emoji, 100 emoji. I am so glad you asked this question. I have the perfect answer for you. So first, you gotta do this. Okay, this next story is a little too crazy to show any type of visuals for. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna read the story. And in your mind, I'll help you visualize everything that's happening right now. Okay. This planet's all fucking had it, me? Okay. But we're not treating it that way. My sister's co-worker Amy got into a fight with this other co-worker Jason because he spread a rumor that she injected her pee and poop into the burger patties and they threatened to fire her over that until she kept denying it. So they went into the parking lot and started throwing hands. But what Jason didn't know is that Amy had put a plastic bag up her before they went into the parking lot. She took like six laxatives and then when they were fighting, she poo her pants with wet diarrhea. <laughs> So after they were done fighting, Amy said, Why is Jason just fighting girls, bro? What, 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 the, what is up with niggas, bro? Why are you fighting? Like, how much? Oh, like, okay, I don't know. What, what is that right? Continue. So after they were done fighting, Amy said, See if you can spread this around. And she reached into her pants and pulled out the plastic bag. Hey, what's that? And it was one of those where you could zip it up shut. So the plan for her was to throw it at him for it to be closed. And she didn't close the bag before she threw it. So she threw it and wet poo landed all over his face and clothes. Ew, what the hell? And wet diarrhea poo landed on the people standing around them. Whoa, and whoa. everyone stood there, frozen. Some of them were screaming in disgust. And the police called She's never beating the poop in the burger allegation now, ever. Nigga, now they're gonna be like, bro, you definitely be shit putting poop in the burgers, nigga. She's never beaten that fucking allegation, nigga. Ever. <laughs> Ever. I drove by. Then Amy booked it. Some people say they saw her in Alaska. We live in California. The end. What a beautifully eloquent story. I feel like that confession was on Shakespearean levels of drama. Any other day, this would be an amazing note to end on. But I have one more. And this one makes me feel like George R.R. R. Martin wrote this himself. So before I lay this story upon you, I just need to say this experience left me with mental scars to this day. So last year in 2022, it was a breezy and warm summer night shift at the Steak and Shake I was working at. It was just me and my homie since the boss left early that shift. There wasn't any customers, so we were just chilling for the most part. Suddenly, the front door slams open and enters 
a pregnant lady. But not any pregnant lady. For you see, she was in labor. We okay. both stood there as she struggles her way to the counter, grasping onto her stomach. We're both a bit shaken from the sudden entrance, but I ask her, Ma'am, are you okay? She responds in an alarming tone. <laughs> Can you please take my order? My <coughs> homie is just flabbergasted and slowly walks towards the kitchen, leaving me to take her order. I feel my throat close up as I ask what she would like. <gasps> a bacon <sighs> and cheese double bait burger <sighs> with chocolate. No shit. With heavy breaths between nearly each word, we quickly prepare to order for her in the kitchen while trying to contact our boss. He just wanted an answer. I don't know if his phone was dead or on do not disturb, but we just couldn't call the home. So we finished the order and rushed back to the counter to see the lady laying on the ground straight up ready to give birth. She yells, Give me the food! And we do so. We try to calm her down and suggest we call an ambulance for her, but she says, I feel the triplets coming right now. Triplets? She just left me and my friend in a state of pure shock. She unwrapped her burger and started devouring it as <laughs> we literally saw the baby pop out of her. What? Out of her pee pee area. Stop. Stop. Oh my stop, god. Stop. Stop. stop and she was just pushing the poor kid out with all of her strength. Stop. She basically had to ugh, undress herself on the bottom to get her kid stop. out safely. Bro, I felt so sick at that moment. I never wanted to see a pregnant woman. While up. she's eating the burger, this is all happening while she's eating the burger? Pants herself, but now I was forced to. Because I literally had to help her give birth. Cut to 30 minutes later of this hell. 30 minutes of hearing her yell in pain as her newborn kids wailed out loud. Two of the three kids were born in that time. And the absolute mess that was on the floor that she left. It was like spilled shake and burger pieces combined with all that birth liquid. I was going to vomit. My homie was just done at this point and left minutes ago since it was the end of our shift. I couldn't leave yet because I had the store key and only could dip when all the customers are gone. So finally, as she was taking a bite of her burger, we pulled out the last kid. It was finally over. The hellfire was finally over. The ambulance came and took the lady and her kids out of the restaurant. And I was asked about what happened from one of the paramedics and I had to explain the situation while my hands were still shaking. Afterwards, I was the only one left there, completely traumatized uh -huh. from that ordeal. I had to clean up what was left of her labor. <laughs> I remember walking home after that and crying on the <laughs> sidewalk from how much damage that did to my conscious and mental state. Needless to say, I genuinely feel nothing but pure injury on my soul Scared from the that shit night. <laughs> did, that, did that get anybody else? Did that, did that get anybody else? Is that just me? Is that, is that, that you scary as hell? Nah, bro. That shit jumped out. Was that just me, bro? I was the only one that fucking that that just popped out on, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Was that just me? was left of her labor yeah. i remember walking home after that and crying on the sidewalk from how much damage that did to my conscious and mental state needless to say i genuinely feel nothing but pure injury on my soul from that night love your vids by the way they're the only sense of joy i will ever feel in this unforgiven earth Come on. making me want to in cry, conclusion Merry Christmas! Or oh, wait, I'm late. Uh, Happy New Year! Bomb